Here's what you're not being told about the upcoming TikTok ban. I'm a Seattle area news camera guy. I film overnight and sell it to local and national news every day. But I also get paid to share on here what the mainstream media skips or doesn't have time for. And I get paid a lot, more than many of the other influencers we all know and love on this platform. I'll tell you how much shortly and why. Television news can't run at all, skipping murders, violent crime sprees, and other types of incidents that leave behind victims and lives lost, whose stories would otherwise never be told to a large audience. I tell those stories here. And TikTok started to realize creators like myself with longer, more informative content are a big part of the platform's future as they turn more into a search engine and information sharing space like YouTube. Facebook and Instagram have seen this coming, and in turn, they started lobbying the government against TikTok. This week, they had a huge win in that fight, lobbying the government to create a new set of laws so President Biden can shut TikTok off in the U.S. without being challenged by the legal system in court. Not that long ago, President Trump also banned TikTok but he was challenged in court and lost. Now, any sitting president can do this without any legal challenge. Recently, Meta announced they will stop paying creators for the Reels platform they created to compete with TikTok. Meta is deciding to keep the revenue instead of doing what TikTok does, paying the creators that the viewers decide are creating the best content. This shows that they're realizing they're not going to have any significant competition again. Creators like myself were approached by TikTok earlier this year to participate in a newer, longer format creator fund. They wanted more in-depth, informative, engaging content. A viewer has to watch one of my videos longer than the typical short-form videos to even qualify as a view. This is a shift from the seven-second quick hits or thirst traps from the past. To incentivize this, they're even paying creators like myself over 20 times more per view than the old system. People like me can now work our own hours and tell the stories that I want to tell. Here I have over 140,000 followers and I have over 6 million views this month alone. Instagram, I put up the exact same stuff and get a fraction of that. Facebook, even less. Other platforms suppress, while TikTok gives me reach. And that's the big difference. Instagram promotes sponsored content and selected creators. TikTok pushes organic content the viewers pick. The fact that a Chinese company is the platform pushing organic free speech to the masses while still maintaining a quick hand on harmful content may at first seem ironic, but it also should tell you there's a lot more to the story than you're being told. Meta, like other apps, are willing to share its data for a price to anyone willing to pay the price. We've seen this in our previous elections. Everything we do on our phones is for sale now. And simply singling out one app to ban instead of creating a system to manage this new challenge is wrong, not within the free market and very un-American.